Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome to a journal with me. This journal page that I did, I did in like the middle of May uh, and I'm only just doing this voiceover now, but I've tried this voiceover a couple of times now, but it just doesn't work out. Anyways, today I'm gonna be uh, showing you guys a little painting thing that I did with a little quote on it. And I use these paints from Arteza as well as some of their little brushes they very kindly sent to me. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I did with it, tried it out. It's acrylic paints. It comes with 60 different colors, which is amazing because I don't like mixing paints as much as I used to nowadays. So there's a good variety of colors within each color family, which I love. And as you can see, there's a lot of them, 60 of them. And I feel like each color has a different tone to it, which I really appreciate because a lot of the times paint packs will like come with two colors that are basically the same thing but with this I feel like there was a good variety within each color family um, and then I also use the little tiny brushes which they have um, I love using thin brushes but I feel like I just don't own any good thin ones but I picked out three to try out and I ended up using only one throughout the whole painting um, apparently I'm a one brush type of gal for some reason. I don't know. Just ends up mixing all my colors together. I don't know why I do this to myself. Anyways, so for this little painting that I was doing, I found a picture I think from Pinterest. I'm not sure, but it's of two vases with some flowers in it and I sketched it out with a pencil on this craft paper cardstock stuff. I don't know. Got from Michaels. This white paint that I'm first using is not an Arteza paint. I don't know what possessed me. I thought I would use it as like a base first, but then it just didn't work very well and it started like lifting up, but it's a different paint brand. I don't know which brand of this white paint it is because I own two different white paint brands. I don't know. Anyways, point is, um, shouldn't have done that, but I recovered from it. So yeah, going to the painting, I was just having some fun. I was watching Crazy Rich Asians for the three millionth time um, and I was just going for it. I feel like I don't paint as much as I used to, but still, it's been many years that I've been painting acrylic and I feel like I still don't have a defined style. I'm definitely not realistic. I'm not very good at like blending colors together on the canvas, like making it look very realistic. That's not me. I can't do it. Ah. And I could definitely try and get better at that, but I just don't feel like that's my style, you know? I think I like just more like bleh, paint on paper and you can see the different colors where they uh, separate or meet each other. And I like the texture and brush strokes, but in the same breath, I like paint brushes that are very smooth. So acrylic paint brushes are more like rough whereas watercolor paint brushes are like very smooth and I always use watercolor paint brushes because that's just what I like, it's what I prefer. But anyways, so yeah, that's kind of what I went for with this painting. Um, I, at first I was trying to like do the shadows and like show that and I was gonna try to make a more defined looking flower, but then in the end I was just like, that ain't it, son, that ain't me. Um, so I just kind of gave up on that in the end and just went for what I, my brain wanted to do, you know? So yeah, like I said, I only use like one paintbrush for some reason. I don't know, I'm like that. I feel like I've always been like that. I've only used like two paintbrushes throughout a painting. But on the left side there, you see my palette. It's a nice glass plate from uh, the dollar store. The dollar store is such a magical place. There's one in my neighborhood, and so your girl is always there. Always buying the cotton candy that's there. Have I talked about this before? I don't know. But I always buy cotton candy there, and now I've got a can cotton candy obsession. I didn't know that America made cotton candy in bags, that it actually tasted good. I'm just blown away, so... Yeah, anyway, it's probably full of chemicals, but I enjoy it all the same. My teeth are suffering. But anyways, the plate is from the dollar store and I just use it as my mixing palette and then to clean it off, usually the way I have always been is that I always let my paints dry out because I'm too lazy to clean it off right away. And I also am the type of person, there's a word for it, it's a French word, but I cannot remember what it's called right now, but where I like to do paintings in one sitting, like I'm not gonna do part of painting and like go off and then come back to it like another day. That's just not me. I can't do that. I need to finish it right then and there or else I'll never come back to it. So I'll be painting for a long time and then my palette will get really dry throughout. So can't always be cleaning it. Anyways, to clean this, I just soak it in water and it comes right off because it's glass and not like plastic. That takes, that's literally the worst thing ever to get paint off plastic, like a plastic mixing palette. Oh my God, save me. You don't even know how many times or how many palettes I've ruined because of this, but yeah. Get yourself a glass mixing palette. It's easier. Like I said before, I like the variety and color of these paints and themselves, the formula, form, is that the right word? Formula? Yes, um, it works very well. I really liked it. Like I said, I was using a different brand of white paint to mix with it and it worked pretty well. Most acrylics will work well with each other. 
Um, I liked the consistency of it, uh, not too thick and not too thin. If you guys want to check out uh, these paints or any other product from Arteza, you can use the link in my description box and you can check that out. And you can also use my coupon code, which is Catherine10, if you'd like to uh, pick up some art supplies. It's summer now, you know, probably have a lot of time on your hands. Take up some painting, take up some form of art. Yeah, so for this page, I did a quote at the end. Uh, at first it was just gonna be painting because I didn't really have any quotes to put on there, but I don't remember how I found this one. And I'll tell it to you now because it has some relevance. Um, now more than ever, may you never forget how far you've come. And this is by Morgan Harper Col Nichols. I always wanna say Harper Collins, but that ain't it. But I don't really remember how I found this quote. It probably was on Pinterest, to be perfectly honest. Um, follow me on Pinterest, that was linked in my description box. But not until I was editing this video did I realize that last year, if you've seen my 2019 journal, there's this page that's like green and blue, not blue, green and black watercolors with a really long quote on it. Um, and that's also by Morgan Harper Nichols. And it was pretty representative of the time that I was in there shit just really hit the fan at that point in my life and my friend had sent me that quote after the day had been done and I you know had my breakdown and uh she sent me that and it really meant a lot to me that I had had a friend that was really looking out for me and it cared enough to send me this quote that was really meaningful I don't remember what the quote is about now but anyways so now a year later literally a year from when that happened probably a year from when I did that page um I there's another quote by the same person that I can relate to and a lot of things have happened since that time last year when I needed that quote. I don't really know where I'm going with this, but do you get, catch my drift? Like I've come so far from where I was then and it's now more than ever that I need to not forget how far I've come. I feel like I'm in a much, much better place than I was last year. Of course, a lot of not great things have happened since that this time last year, but I'm better for it now. I feel like since the new year, and I'm not like a new year, new me type of person, right? I'm very much like, if you wanna change, change now. You don't need to wait for a new year. But I don't know, it just happened that the beginning of the year really changed me in a way, a little bit, I don't know. Changed my mindset on things uh, because I was seeing somebody in my life kind of like stuck in a certain place and a certain mindset that I was just very tired of. And I, I don't know, I don't, I, I, I feel like I'm not really making my point here very well, but essentially I'm just happy with where I am right now. And I'm happy with who I am, I'm proud of myself of how far I've come, you know? So, you know, that's the tea for me. And hopefully you can take something away from this if you are in need of that message. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I'm the worst like motivational speaker. So bear with me. I hope that made some kind of sense at some point in there. Uh, so back to this journaling page. Um, after I did the vases and the flowers, I felt like it needed a little bit more because it wasn't very defined. The flowers kind of melted into each other a little bit. So I decided to outline it with black and white pen. So for the black pen, I used a Muji fine tip pen in 0.38 which I've now lost. I'm sure it will turn up somewhere, but I need it now and I can't find it. And then for the white pen that I used, I found a new white pen. I went to a, like Bullock or something and I was like, where are the white pens, bro? And the worker there was like, this one's really good. You should try it out. Um, so I did, I got it. And it's a Uniball Signo Broad White Pen um, Pigment Ink. I don't know. It's white, it's luscious, it's thick which I really like. Um, it's a ballpoint. It's very nice, thick white paint. I do like it a lot more than the Jelly Roll because it glides on way nicer and it just looks way nicer as well because I feel like, like it's more pigmented than the uh, Jelly Roll white pen that I usually use. So I moved on from Gen Jelly Roll to this new pen, which I like a lot and I've been using like nonstop. That's mostly because I always just use black paper anyways, so. Next year, I need to just buy a journal that has black pages. That would just be perfect for me. For the past three years that I've been journaling, they've always been Harry Potter cover journals, so. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do next year. I really didn't know what I was gonna do this year, if I was gonna get another Harry Potter journal or not, because I couldn't really find one and I hadn't really planned it out very well. Like, oh, I need to order a journal because it's gonna be a new year, new journal. Because I like to journal on the 1st of January so I can just get the year started. But this year's journal came in a little bit late, so I was a little bit behind. But anyways, it's only the middle of the year. Why am I worrying about this now? Moving on. 
Here's the quote. Now more than ever, may you never forget, wait, what's the quote? <laughs> may you never forget how far you've come. Yes, very good, very applicable. But yeah, so with the outlining of these pens, I just outlined basically almost everything, not too much like detail, just kind of some squiggly lines in the middle of the flowers and then outlined the outside of the flowers. And for the lighter colors, I used the white and for like the darker colors, I used the black pen. Obviously, you saw it for yourself, you know? But then I just pasted it into my journal and the page beside it is uh, called Summer Shits. Yeah, I know. Um, but if you know, every season I do a page where I just write about what I wanna do, achieve, like learn a language, which I've never done, but I keep writing it every season, but that's what's on that page. I wanna rewatch a bunch of shows, so yeah we'll see how that goes but this is my journal page i hope you guys enjoyed remember to check out arteza use the link in my description uh use my coupon code katherine 10 support a girl you know feel free no pressure but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you very soon with another video yep goodbye <laughs>